parallel beam of light consists of a wavelength 420 nanometer. That's about blue color, uh, I think. Blue color. And another wavelength of 630. About orange, I think. S orange green. Oh, okay, let's put, put, put it like that. Somewhere there. The light is incident on a normal diffract normally on a diffraction grating. The diffraction maxima for two wavelengths overlap only at an angle of 31 degrees mm, from the incident beam. What could be the line spacing? Wow, that's an interesting setup. So you have a diffraction grating, some incoming light, uh, and then you have a maxima here and another maxima here. They both overlap, same angle, same theta. But the problem is we don't know what order it is. What n is this? I don't know. They didn't tell me. What n is this? I also don't know. They didn't tell me. But we do know their wavelength, which is 420 nanometer. And the other one is, uh, what was the other one again? 630 nanometer. <sighs> when you're not sure where to start, let's start by writing out the equation first. So our good old diffraction gradient equation that you must know for this case is n lambda equals to d sine theta. We have too many unknowns though. We don't know n. We don't know d. And there's two n's that we don't know. Let's name them n1 and n2. So three unknowns. Oh no. How do we start? Okay, here's a tip for you to approach this kind of question. Let's think of what's constant first. We want to find D. That's our goal, our ultimate goal to find D. We could say that N lambda is a constant. Why? Ah? Did we change the grading? No. Uh, still the same same grating that is used by both wavelength. Is the angle the same for both? Yeah. Theta is same for the orange and the blue one as well. So you could conclude and say, oh, okay, la, whatever that is, n and lambda is changing, but this whole thing in the box is constant. Hence, I can conclude that n1 lambda 1 equals to n2 lambda 2. I don't know how to start. If I use the other equation, not enough information. So I start here, though. Okay, let's so let's just apply plug in everything. We don't know the ends, so I'm just gonna put n. Oops, wrong color. N one over n two equals to lambda two over lambda one. Yeah, we could do that. So we plug in the values of lambda two, lambda one. Lambda two is six three zero nanometer. Lambda one is four two zero nanometer. This will give us a nice ratio, n1 over m2. Yo, my paper suddenly dropped down. What's the ratio? Ah, uh? yeah, press calculator and see. Where is my calculator? Ah, there it is, under a stack of papers. Anyway, where were we? Ah, n1 over n2, 630430. This is three over two. How on earth is this helpful? Well, let me write it down first. Write it down first. This is telling me that n1 is 3 over 2 times of n2. Okay, that's a good start. I'm just going to leave that there. Normally during exam, if you come across this type of question and you're not sure where to proceed, it's okay, skip on to the next one. Okay, let's use the equation now for blue color, the first one. So n1 lambda 1 equals to d sine theta. N1, I don't know what it is. Lambda 1, I know. 420. Times 10, negative 9. D, I don't know. Sine, I know. 31. Okay, I'm stuck. Never mind. Move on to the next one. Okay, so another possible uh, equation you can set up is for the orange light. So this one. N2 lambda 2 equals to D sine theta. N2 I don't know. Leh. Lambda 2 I know. 630 times 10 negative 9. 
equals to d sine 31. Here's our problem with three unknowns. We don't know n, we don't know n, and we don't know d. But we have three unknowns. We also have three equations. Wait now, this is number one. This is equation number two. This is equation number three. So we have to do some substitution or some guessing or choosing of values. So here's a tip. Uh, here's a method that I use how to solve this thing. So I create a table of possible n1 and n2 values. Using the ratio that I know on the left side here. Hmm, can I have maybe... I mean, this n have to be whole numbers, right? If this is if the n one is one nah, what will n two be? N two multiply multiply a bit, I will get some weird number leh. Ah, this will be two over three. Can I have two over three? No. An order should be whole number. Okay, maybe cannot one. What if what if this is two? So two and then multiply by two over three, I will still get a weird fraction. Four over three now. What is n1 is 3? 3 times 2. Oh, I think I can get a nice number. If n1 is 3, then the order will be of the orange light will be 2. Ah, yes. This is whole number. Very good. So I really like this, this combination. I should try it out. So this one is accepted because it is whole number. And orders, the n order, have to be whole number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let's try it out. Okay, maybe we use the orange color one. Uh. So N2, let's say, is 2. Times 630 times 10, negative 9. Goes to D sine 31. Hmm, we do have enough information now. Yes, okay, let's solve the question. So this one is a uh, plug in value and see. 2 times 630 times 10, negative 9, divided by sine 31. I will get some interesting 2.52 times 10 to the negative 6. Correct, ah? can I have a value like this? 2.5? Is there a 2.5 for my answer here? Because we are trying our first try here. So 2.52 don't exactly have the answer. Oh. So how? Ah? So this is where we do like 2.4 is close, but not exactly there. A bit suspicious. Maybe I should try another calculation. So then I think, think, think. Okay, maybe I should try the blue color one just to double check. Let's check N1. Oh, it's a bit crowded here. If this is 3, this is 4, 2, 0 times 10, negative 9. It goes to D sine 31. If I use that, what would be my D? Press calculator. 3 times 4, 2, 0 times 10, negative 9. Divide by sine 31. 2.446. Okay, I'll just put 2.4. Yeah, okay. Oh, this one has 2.4. Hmm. So, two among all the answers, 2.4 looks like the closest. So, I'm going to choose 2.4. The 2.52 uh, is a bit off. Maybe I press wrong. Let's double check one more time. Sign. Hey, oh, I mean, I know already. I put 30 degrees instead of 31. Aya, sorry. Calculator problem. 2.4. Oh, yo, then they agree. Perfect. So it's a little bit off. But in the end of the day, they all end up at 2.4. Okay. So if you're not convinced and you say, Miss... But the orders could be any other orders. Why must it be 3, 2? 3, 2 means, if you look on the top right corner, up there, uh, means the blue color one is third order. Orange color one is second order. Okay. If you're not convinced, you go a few more. Long. You'll find that the next one is 4, but it's not a whole number. This one becomes 8 over 3. Cannot. The next one, go, go, go. We keep going. You'll find 6. The ratio, 6, 4. 
Now, this one is also accepted, but the answer is not in A, B, C, D. Answer is not in our choices. So it's correct, it's a possible combo, but it's not in our choices. So try and error lah, this one. Wow, all these racial questions, oh my goodness.